Thanks for staying with us. Now, the worldwide outbreak of COVID-19 has brought the world to a standstill, and tourism has been the worst hit uh, of all the major economic sectors. Top African airlines, including Ethiopian Airline, Egypt Airline, Kenya Airways, South African Airlines, and all our indigenous airlines have been affected by travel restrictions locally and globally. The International Air, air Transport Association says that Africa's um, air transport industry contributes up to $55.8 billion. That is about 2.6% of Africa's GDP and supports about 6.2% million jobs. Now, by March 11, African Airlines had lost about $4.4 billion in revenue due to the fallout from the pandemic. Engineer Roland Ahmed is an aircraft engineer who started work as an instructor in NCAT Zaria before moving to Virgin Nigeria to become a certifying engineer on the B737. He currently works with aero contractors serving as technical supervisor for the Abuja um, line station. Now remember you can join the conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Ways to Africa 1 with the hashtag Ways or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 Thank you so much for joining us Engineer. Thank you very much. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we'll just go straight into the conversation. Um, the airline tourism industry has been the worst hit since this pandemic started because a lot of aircrafts are grounded, you know, no movement, you know. I think apart from the cargo airlines that go from time to time. What's your general overview of the situation? Um, it's uh, rather very unfortunate that uh, the, the aviation industry and the world economy globally is passing through this uh, challenging and uh, trying period. We've never had it like this before, and so it's a very uh, new and different thing we're seeing entirely. So it's been very challenging for the economy globally to cope. Uh, bringing it back home again, it's been quite very, very challenging for us. Like you said earlier, you know, over 75 uh, uh, airplanes uh, have been grounded, uh, all, almost uh, 250, 25,000 jobs directly, indirectly uh, at stake right now. And, uh, uh, and it, 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 it's been crazy. We're just, uh, we're just here now. We don't even know how far and how soon we are able to return uh, uh, the airplanes back uh, uh, flying again. And so it's quite uh, challenging for the industry. It's quite, quite, quite very challenging. And I like it is now, the month just ended yesterday. And I can tell you that uh, probably just about two or three airlines uh, were able to pay probably up to 50% or a little less than that. It's been quite challenging, and if it continues like this, only God knows. Wow. So what would you think um, should be a kind of um, palliative? Because now, the, the, in the spirit of Workers' Day, like you rightly mentioned, that some people <clears throat> were not paid salaries, and putting people first and supporting jobs and economics, how would we mitigate the socioeconomic impact of COVID-19? How do you think we can? Locally or globally, the only way to go about it is a bailout. The government must support her airline. If the government does not step in, I tell you, by the end of this year, I don't think probably 95% of the airline globally will be alive again. Like I said to you, airlines have not been able to pay salary you know, for just the last month, the one that ended yesterday. As I said, only about two or three airlines have been able to pay up to 50%. And they cannot be able to sustain that if government does not intervene. I'm happy that the minister spoke uh, today through his uh, uh, director uh, uh, public uh, affairs, assuring the industry that the uh, government is going to uh, support her and then putting some palliative. But we're asking that that support and palliative must come in very, very, very soon. Because if it does not come in very soon, another month has stepped in now. We do not know how we're going to fare this month. The airplanes are on ground. And as long as those airplanes are on ground, they are incurring costs. As I can tell you now, over 150 billion estimated uh, have been lost already in just probably less than five or six weeks of this uh, challenge. So where we are now, it is only the government that can step in. And they must do that very fast or else uh, they will have nothing left at the end of the day. So possibly uh, for the Nigerian aviation, like how much are we looking at for government intervention? Well, it depends on how much uh, the government are, are willing to, to, to put in. Uh, because uh, like now, even before this pandemic, we have been crying for 
the airline have been crying for palliative, they haven't crying for bailouts, because uh, most of the airlines are sick, they have an issue. Apart from probably airplanes that have up to uh, close to 30 airplanes and have ordered for more, uh, every other airline it's, it's just it's just struggling to keep three, four, five airplanes afloat. So uh, it's, it's already a sticking situation before now and coupled with this pandemic again. So it's going to be like a dialogue. Uh, the, uh, the operators association and all the stakeholders who have to sit down to with the minister and and, 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 and whoever and, and the stakeholders and see how much uh, they, 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 they are able to put in. Because even the government themselves are crying that there's no money. Recently, we're seeing news uh, just uh, 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 around that uh, they want to begin to match uh, agencies and, uh, and parasitos. We don't know how true that is yet. But again, if that happens, it tells you that even government too are also grappling with challenges in their hand. They don't have much to give. But again, whatever they can give, we have to see the, the, the airlines operator and uh, the stakeholders have to sit down together and design a formula and see how much uh, they can uh, be able to do. I won't be able to state at an instant that this is, this is it because every airline has a peculiar uh, uh, nature of operations. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, Engineer Ahmed, for joining us. We'll take a short break and Bankali Bernard will join us right after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>